Hi, I'm Doug here at Global West, and today I'm going to talk about S10s. Now these particular arms I have on the table are for 82 to 02 2 two-wheel drive S10s. Now these are kind of different than what you're used to seeing. These are an extended travel lower control arm. It's something new that we're doing. Now extended travel, what that basically means is we're changing the shock position on a coilover type application and moving it in the control arm. These will not fit a standard coil spring. This is strictly a coilover type application. Now a lot of control arms, and we make them too, the CTA22H is set up so that the stock length shock absorber is used, goes in the stock location on the control arm, and you can adjust your ride height with the coilover. It takes a conical wound spring, something like this. And I'm sure you've seen them already where the shock's got the T-bar and, and here's your adjuster and what have you, and you can raise and lower your car. Well, when you go past inch and a quarter on a drop and you're trying to do it all through the coilover, you risk running into a suspension bottoming where the shock could possibly bottom out or you may have to go to a shorter shock absorber or the control arm itself is bottoming out because you don't have enough travel in the system because the car is so low. Another possibility too is you don't have enough spring rate. So if you've purchased a coilover system and the car rides really rough and let's say you've got it at an inch and a half drop for example, well a good possibility is you've got a bit bottoming out condition. Well what EXTs do is we've changed the shock mounting position in the control arm and we've lowered it. So that essentially extends the length of that shock so we don't have that issue of it bottoming out and we're running at a lowered ride height. So it's from one and a quarter on down is where this, these EXTs are really important because we've got that sweet spot of the shock now being used at the lowered ride height. Something you're not going to get in a conventional type coilover where the shock mount is at the stock location. So now you understand why that name EXT, Extended Travel, makes sense because we're extending the travel of that shock, allowing you for that lowered ride height. These particular control arms come with our Delalum bushings. They act like a bearing. It's a six surface design. We have a couple videos on those. Bump stops, ball joints, sway bar pickup points, and we do have some mounting hardware as well for the different shocks. Now, depending on what shock you have, we have additional hardware that can be purchased to get those mounted to these control arms. There are very, there's variables. There's several variables, in fact, depending on what shock manufacturer you have. So we do have different components that are available depending on the shock. So there might be a couple of kits you have to purchase along with this to accommodate that particular shock that you have. Not a big deal. Part number for this is a CTA 22 EXT. It fits 1982 through 02 S10s, two wheel drive. It's a direct bolt on, goes to a coilover type application. If you're having a bottoming condition or you're wanting that lowered look on your S10, and worried about bottoming, these control arms are probably your answer.